Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today, doing a pros and cons worth it or waste on the second generation Chromecast. I'm gonna go over what I liked about it, what I didn't like, and uh, help you make a decision if this is uh, the device for you or if you need to keep looking, okay? So, super fast disclaimer, it took me a while to make this video because I wanted to sort of tailor it to uh, the people that said, hey, should I upgrade to the new one if I have the old one versus you guys that don't have a Chromecast and you're trying to decide if this is the device for you. So, I, I sort of uh, considered both parties in mind. So. The, the pros and cons, again, are tailored to everybody. All right, so jump right into the pros. So uh, one of the great things about the Chromecast is it's literally, um, it's one of the easiest options out there for getting content from your phone to your TV. So whether you're trying to watch uh, a video you recorded of your kids playing soccer or watch Netflix or YouTube and you just want to watch it on your TV, um, it's one of the easiest options out there and most affordable uh, for $35. Um, it almost seems too good to be true, but it, it sort of is, or um, it, it really is as good as uh, what you've probably heard. Um, so literally all you have all you have to have to make this work is you've one got to have home Wi-Fi at home, so uh, wireless internet. Uh, second, you will need to have an HD TV that has an HDMI port um, because that's the only connection you can plug this into for it to work. So if you have an older tube TV, this is not going to work for you. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Upgrade the TV first, okay? But if you if you have those two things, then you are uh, excuse me. There is a third option. Uh, a third thing you need, which is you need a smartphone or a tablet uh, to work with it. If you do just have a computer, technically you can make it work, but it's really built for someone that has a smartphone or tablet. So for example, this is uh, the Note 4 from Samsung. This is a great um, you know, phone to have, obviously. And uh, But let me show you why you have to have this. So um, uh, basically, the way Chromecast works, it's all through an app. Um, you basically, you download apps and uh, videos and music on your phone, and you're able to basically mirror it to the TV. And mirroring just means that uh, you're basically sending it from your phone to your TV. So that's why you have to have a smartphone or tablet. If not, this won't work for you. Or, for example, I had a friend recently who... Uh, wanted to get a Chromecast for his grandparents. Only his grandfather had a smartphone, not his grandmother. And so I said, well, what if? Well, what about when he leaves the house and she wants to watch Netflix? It's not going to work because she doesn't have a smartphone or a tablet. So there are certain situations where this may not be the best device for you, but if all parties in the house that want to use it have a smartphone and tablet, then you're going to be in good shape. So wanted to go ahead and put that disclaimer out there for those of you that don't have it but are considering it. So in terms of pros, this is, again, just a quick option that allows you to stream Netflix or Hulu, stream music from Pandora, Spotify, and basically any app you can think of that's in the Android App Store uh, or, or on your iPhone, just most of those apps, you're going to be able to uh, stream it to the TV, you know, a lot of the mainstream apps like your even your HBO Go or your uh, Showtime or uh, ESPN um, Watch, Watch ESPN. Now, keep in mind that these apps are not free. You do have to pay for them. So Netflix, $7.99 a month. Hulu is $7.99. Pandora is free, you know. So just all the apps are not free. Some of them you do have to pay for. So like you don't just pay $35 and now you have access to the whole world. It, it sort of is the hardware that connects you to a lot of other great services um, for your home. So, um, so talk a little bit about the. This is the second generation one. So what's different versus the original one is that this uh, new Chromecast now is compatible with um, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi bands, and that's just technical talk for um, it works with faster. Um, routers. The router is the wireless box that basically makes your home wireless, allows you to get the internet wherever you go without plugging in a cable. They've also lowered the buffering time so when you pick the movie you want to watch, um, it doesn't take a long time for it to load. So it's faster going from your phone or tablet to the TV. So uh, if you have the original Chromecast and it, it's going slow and you're frustrated, then you may want to upgrade because it has the, the better antennas and it has the lower buffering time. So definitely great there. Um, 
So it does stream up to 1080p resolution. So that's obviously really awesome because you're gonna be able to take full advantage for those of you that have 1080p HD TVs. Now it does not support 4K. And this is one of the cons, I'm just jumping ahead. But I wanted to address that because there's not a lot of 4K content available yet. So it really is not a super big deal that it doesn't support it. If you wanna support, if you want the 4K support, there are devices that do support it. But again, because the app market and streaming services are very limited when it comes to 4K, um, it's not that big of a loss that this device does not support it yet. Maybe the third generation will, we'll find out sometime this year. Um, the next thing, uh, great pro about this device is that it's so small and compact. And I wish I could show it to you, but it's plugged in so I could actually have it go on the TV. But um, very small very compact and it's something you can easily just unplug and toss in your pocket and like i used to move this from room to room i would watch a uh, movie in the living room and then i would unplug it plug it in my room and then keep watching it right in there or if you want to go in the kitchen and cook something you can plug it in watch your show there so it's easily portable i mean you can again you can even take it and move it you know if you want to go to someone's house for a movie night bring your chromecast and now you've got your movie just that easy so um, that's another great part about it is it's just, it's very easy to take with you. Even think about vacations or a business trip, you take this with you and you can always watch what you want to watch. So definitely love that. Um, another cool thing is that, um, so Chromecast works through it. You don't have to use the app for everything, but there is an app. It's a Chromecast app. And basically this is where you find, uh, apps and different things that are compatible with it. And one of the cool things is the, the game support. So there's a lot more games that are compatible now that, that, than were before. So as you can see, we've got a um, game here. This is a movie app, uh, CBS Sports, Watch ABC. These are, you know, everything is sort of sorted by categories, but there's a ton of games that are available now. So like these are a couple, you get your Angry Bird friends. Um, there's uh, what's called Scrabble Blitz. There is Yahtzee Blitz. Um, there, there are a lot more games for groups too, which I was really excited about that because um, I want to play, you know, you go to someone's house and everybody has their device out and they're all doing something different. Well, now with this Chromecast, you can sort of all link up together and play the game with your devices versus, you know, one person at a time. So it, group games, not just single individual games. Um, so that's awesome right there. Um, in terms of TV support, for those of you that are trying to get rid of your cable box and see if this could be your like main device, well, um, again, a lot of the, the TV um, providers or TV channels are creating their own apps. You do have to pay a subscription fee for some of them, but you know, if you just want to watch HBO shows, you can pay for HBO Go, which is like $15 a month, and then you can have access, access to all their shows. Again, you got your watch ESPN, your CBS. What, I, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description so you can actually take a look at all the different apps that are available. There's a website through Chromecast that shows you all the apps so you can search through and see if the app you want is in there. Um, the next thing which is really cool is that there's an option now that will allow you to mirror your phone right to the TV through the Chromecast app. And uh, basically now you can do it with any smartphone. So just to show you really quick here. Um, so let me show you the app first. Hopefully that's clear. There we go. So the app is just called Chromecast. So you're going to go to the store and look for this app. And once you open it, you're just going to tap on the menu button right here. And then you're going to go to cast screen, which is the second option. And that was wrong. Let's try it again. Second option. You're gonna press OK. And then you're gonna select your Chromecast in the menu, tap right there. And then it's gonna mirror your screen to the TV. So now guess what? My phone is on the TV. I can turn it sideways and it will support landscape as well. And so now whatever is on my phone, I can put it on the TV. This is a, it's a chess game I play all the time. I can play that on the TV. Um, you can go on the internet and search the web and have it on your big screen. Um, anything and everything will allow you to put it around the TV. So 
Um, this is a, a really cool thing. This what is not something that's always been available. I don't know when they add the support, but it's one of my favorite features because I love to, you know, just show things on the big screen. And so, yeah, mirror your phone, your tablet. And when you're done, you open up the Chromecast app again. And literally, we just tap um, disconnect. And it's going to disconnect it. And then you'll be back to your regular screen. So, um, options. You get a lot of options for $35. Um, so, and that's one, one of the other things that's really cool is that because they've updated the Chromecast app, now uh, it does so much more than it did before. So let me sort of wrap things up here. Last really good feature is that on your computer, if you do have the Google Chrome browser downloaded, you could actually mirror uh, a, a website or there's even a trick that lets you mirror your whole screen to the TV. So again, uh, you get so, many, so much functionality with this device. Um, the, the only con I have, there's really uh, one, sort of two, and that's uh, this device is, is for people that are sort of techy. Uh, in fact, I don't even want to put it toward a, sort of in, in that whole category, but um, if, you're, if you're new to technology, I don't recommend this device for you. I think a Fire Stick TV would be better for you because that comes with the remote. With this, your smartphone or tablet is the remote. And if you're not that familiar with your tablet or smartphone, then this is not gonna be as smooth an experience um, that you probably like it to be. So um, I definitely would say uh, Fire Stick TV is better for the kind of new technology people. But everyone else, if you're pretty savvy with your phone and you're pretty comfortable with it, I say get one for $35. You can test it out. If not, you can always return it. But overall, this is a great device, and I think that um, you know, you're definitely gonna wanna get it. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. You're gonna have a lot of fun with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share.